So if you're stuck on lockdown speaking to your team or colleagues using Zoom, Skype or FaceTime, in this video I'm going to give you my best tips to get the best audio and video quality out of your Mac or PC laptops. Okay, so I've grabbed my MacBook Pro to show you some of the common mistakes people make. Now, a lot of people always go towards the window to try and get better video quality, but if you face uh, away from the window, you're actually going to overexpose the background like you can see here and underexpose your face so no one can see you. And I'm sure you've seen this in many video meetings. So what we're going to do, just by simply turning around and facing the other way so the light is actually coming in from the window and being about two or three feet distance from the window, you can see that now I'm much more evenly lit, the background's still nice and lit and it keeps things really nice and clean. So that is tip number one. So the first big audio mistake people make is that they sit too far back from their webcam's microphone. Now if you've got a built-in webcam like on a MacBook Pro or a PC, it can only really pick up about two to three feet away. So what you need to do, of course, is just come nice and close. Not only does this help you fit much better within your video screen, but your audio quality will also vastly improve. The next thing you can do is use an external USB microphone. So I'll plug it in now and show you how that changes things. So I'm sitting the same distance as I was a second ago using the inbuilt microphone, but now I'm using an external USB microphone. This is an Editor's Keys SL. 600 microphone but you can use any USB microphone to really boost your audio quality and audio is one of the biggest issues with sort of conferencing calls because as soon as your audio goes and starts to break up or if you can't hear people because it's too echoey that's when it makes the team meetings really really hard to understand so make sure you use an external USB mic. So my next tip is actually about your background. So what if you're in a very small apartment or house and your background is very messy? This tip will help you get a nice clean background. So this is a great tip if you do have a very messy background or if you just don't want your co-workers to see what's going on in your apartment or small office. So all you need to do is go to preferences and you can actually set a virtual background. So you can see here I've got it set to none and this is of, of course uh, the, the spare room in my house. But what you can actually do, you can go to stock websites like uh, Pixabay and you can just type in living room or you can type in coffee shop or office and you can see here we've got lots of photos of that kind of thing. So what you could actually do is you can use one of the inbuilt preset ones but this is a bit unrealistic or you can use someone else's living room. Now of course I don't think it's going to fool too many people but if you just want to give that feeling that you're somewhere else, this could be the way to go. And it just completely hides your background. So maybe have a look around for some photos of a clean living room, a clean lounge, maybe a clean office. And this could save your bacon if your background is a bit messy. So there we go. I hope those little tips have helped you get better audio and video quality for your upcoming team meetings on those video conferencing calls. Also, if you want to check out how a USB microphone can improve your audio quality, click up here and you can see that video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.